It is back from Bose. We have an encore look at that today's special in just a few moments with that lowest price in America. But now you're taking our sound to our man cave. And, <laughs> you know, it's funny because Bose, of course, you guys really laid the foundation for big sound, small package. Right. TV manufacturers could take a lesson from you because they've now created all these sleek, slim profiles, but the speakers and the sound really hasn't kept up or really can't do what you do here. There's incredible vivid picture yeah. quality, but the sound just doesn't seem to go along with it. Nope. And we have designed a speaker that is meant to elegantly sit beneath your TV, but compete in terms of right. that sound quality, bring that sound up into the same high definition quality. And that's what the Solo 5 uh, does. Okay, so this is my, basically it's my whole sound system, Yeah. right? It's it, it's one connection from the back of the TV to the Solo system itself, and that's it, you're done. You do need to plug it in for power, but sure. other other than that, okay. there's no subwoofer, there's no additional wires to run. We even include the cable for you that you need nice. to make. So there's not a lot of um, complication that goes into, okay, I have to rewire <laughs> right. everything. Just keep everything connected to your okay. TV the way it already is. You just add the Solo 5 to your current setup and it unlocks the power that maybe you haven't really even heard before yeah. if you're only listening on your TV spe speakers. And the best way I can show you is I with a demo say, here. let's show them. I'll show you too that my, my TV here, which is a lovely little TV, it is set at 100% of volume. There gotcha. is, it can't go up any higher. Okay. I'm gonna play some music and I'll do a little demo here. You're gonna see it and hear it, but then I'm gonna engage the Bose system and you tell me if you can see the difference okay. and hear it. So this is TV sound. And now here we go. a little boxy, a little yep. bit tinny. There's not a lot happening. How about now? Oh! Let me switch back. So as you can, so as, uh, as you can see, it's fascinating, isn't, isn't it? Great. It? Because I, it, well, actually, they just re did a whole remodel at my favorite movie theater, and can I tell you, I, I'm willing to pay the twenty dollars for the price of admission and the RPX for the audio. <laughs> I mean, think about your favorite movie. You think about Star Wars. I bet you can't think about Star Wars without thinking of the theme song or Darth <laughs> Vader's theme song, right. right? I bet you can't think about Jaws without thinking about Jaws. I think you can bet you can't think of the movie Halloween without you know Michael. Michael Myers theme song. The, the music and sound is so inherently linked to your enjoyment of a film, you're really almost disrespecting your television or your man cave if you're buying that great 4K or that 55 or that 65 inch, or if you're looking for the Go Anywhere TV, that's coming up next hour. But you're really kind of doing that TV that you're buying or investing in, really a disservice if you're just using the little itty bitty speakers they have built in. And if you don't know any better, maybe you think, okay, that sound maybe is just good enough. Yeah. Or you think, well, I don't watch a lot of movies, maybe I just more watch TV programming or I just listen to music. Guess what? Everything is gonna sound better with Everything. a Solo 5. This is actually a speaker system that has a Bluetooth receiver built in, so you can pair, just like what we were talking about oh, earlier, really? you can pair right up with this speaker system to enjoy music listening as well entirely wirelessly. And I talked a lot about the Bose innovation that goes into creating a speaker like this. This is something that is packed full of Bose innovation. Inside the speakers, uh, inside the cabinet itself are two speakers that are angled at very precise angles. Okay to help anchor dialogue on the screen. Sometimes if you've ever watched movies oh, or watched TV yes. shows, you know how the dialogue gets kind of muddled. Yep. That is something that we work specifically to create very unique design so that that does not happen. Then to encourage sound that spreads out well beyond just simply the borders of the screen, we actually put 
speakers on the hard left and hard right of the bar itself. So there's a speaker here that angles this way and a speaker here that angles out towards the side. So what you get is this incredible room filling sound that would make you think it's coming from places where there are no speakers. And that's Bose innovation at work to give you something that can fit elegantly in front of your TV, but you would think that you have one of these big surround sound speaker systems around. We design it so that you get that impression, but you don't have to run wires all over your room. All right, room. I wanna play my mom's devil's advocate. How's the hookup? Oh my gosh. Can you so, show the back of this? Because I, I know that's the first thing. My, my mom loves bows. My parents both love bows, but I know her eyes are rolling back in her head thinking, okay, how am I going to figure this thing out? I right? know the feeling. Me too. <laughs> if you think back, you know, you think about all of the things that go along with home theater yeah. and the think of the wires that you have to run and hide under throw rugs uh, and you have to uh, connect a million oh, different yeah. things. No. Okay. So the Solo 5 is built so that there is just one connection that you have to make. Here's the little ports here. We include a couple different types of ports okay. for the type of TV that you have. Most modern TVs, if you've bought it, I'd say in the last seven to 10 years, yeah. have an optical port is what it's called, and we include the cable for you. If you have an older TV or a TV even older than that, we also have coaxial and analog inputs as well. So basically it's power and a plug. It's power and a plug. <laughs> It's power and a plug. I can and then, do that. And then the remote takes care of everything else. In fact, the remote is what's called a universal remote, too. So it can take control of additional devices in your home, too. If you have a big basket or a coffee table full of 17 different remotes, one to turn on the TV and one to turn on the Blu-ray and one to turn on the cable box, and you have to have everything memorized and turned on in a specific sequence. It's true. Yeah, we have a remote control that gives you the capability to program all of it so that you don't have have to worry about that. It's just one that sits it, on your coffee it, table and get rid of the clutter. It's so smart because when you think about it, 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 it almost doesn't make sense that we're downsizing at least the format or the form factor of our televisions. So they're getting uber skinny, supermodel skinny, but we still want that, that man cave filling sound. And prior to Bose, really the only alternative to get the kind of the same room filling sound that they're talking about is what I have in my living room. And that I, I should have taken a picture of the cables. And you want to talk about the remotes? There's a subway. There's a receiver, there's tweeters, there's speakers in the ceiling. I mean, I don't know whether I'm coming or going with this thing. And you know the problem? Eve, it's it's overmodulated. So a lot of times I can have the sound cranked, but I still can't hear dialogue mm -hmm. because it's not balanced, no matter how much I, you know, tinker around with the sound or or the equilibrium. That's what's so genius about what you do, and you'll hear it in our today's special when we do an encore presentation with David coming up next, is regardless of what I'm listening to, if it's music, if it's dialogue, if it's, you know, talk television, mm -hmm. your engineers really think about how to give us the best user interface. We want to make the most out of the technology that's built into the system yeah. so that the person who's sitting and pressing play, you're not, the, the that engineering job is left to the engineers. Yeah. And then you as the enjoyer have the capability to just press play and we can begin just right. going off into our own world to be able to enjoy all of that content. I can even give you another demonstration here Perfect. that helps to showcase the wonderful dialogue capabilities of Solo because as I mentioned, there's those twin drivers here that help to really vocal, create a focal point for that, uh, you know, that vocal sound right. to come through. So I'm gonna play a demonstration here. I'm gonna to toggle back and forth between the sound of regular TV speakers and of the Solo 5. And notice how the vocals really come to life. So here we're gonna walk into our diner. Isn't 
<laughs> wow. So David, I know what I'm hearing because actually for years of wearing headphones and earpieces, I, I have had some loss of hearing. My grandfather actually was partially deaf. And even though just, this is apples to apples, by the way, this television was at 100% volume. Even at 100% volume, it was kind of hard for me dis to discern the, the dialogue from the music because there were sound effects and everything else. To me, and once more, you know, I have had some hearing loss because I've been wearing headphones and things, you know, for years. The, it, it almost seemed muddy. And when we talk about making your your audio high definition, that's almost what this speaker is doing. Sure, it adds a whole new dimension to sound. Not only from the experience of the, the vocals where yeah. her voice was much more intelligible, yes. but you also hear a lot of everything happening around in the characters too. Right. Hear the sound of the diner as the salt shaker slides across the table. So you get the sensation of feeling like you're sitting right at the table with them. We don't want you to just experience sound from the perspective of watching it as a passerby or as a spectator. What Bose engineers and our designers really focus on is providing the experience of creating a world for you to actually exist and sit and uh, participate in. With it being a one-piece speaker system too, there isn't a subwoofer or a, a acoustamass module or additional uh, technology that you need to add. It's just one piece that plugs into your TV. I even mentioned the dialogue mode that allows you so that you can hear that uh, that you know vocal capabilities even better and the simplicity is of course one of the, this is one of the simplest products we make when it comes to just one TV and one cable that connects to the sound system and you're off and running I, I think that's a big deal because actually what has prohibited me from getting a sound bar upstairs for my, my television up there is I just I don't have a lot of space you know mm -hmm, and I mm -hmm. don't want to mess the last I, I just don't have room for all the cables and wires and what's it's and everything else that I have going on downstairs and frankly that's overkill right when you get this at home it really creates that man cave experience as we get used to doing with Bose in a smaller profile but still a room filling sound and that's I think it, it, the hardest thing about doing these shows David is you're you're such a font of information but the truth of the matter is with any of our Bose products whether it's our today's special or the quiet comfort headphones or mm -hmm. the sound bar it's not until people get them at home that they can really truly experience that Bose difference it's, well we build an experience you do uh, you know we can tell you about it all day yeah. and it's why I love to talk about the technology right. but the reality is is that there is places in the heart that only music can reach and in order for you to hear what we as engineers and designers are saying you need to hear it in your own experience and in your own home I mean acoustics and how sound rever uh, reverberates around a specific environment is very unique to your specific situation what we sell ultimately is yeah. something that's subjective right so I can't I can't say it enough to truly feel what it, uh, the work is that we've done uh, at you know back at Team Bose now for 53 years. We've been designing products to truly improve your life, designed around this idea of hearing music the way it was meant to be heard, and really unlocking the capabilities now of your TV. Whether it's your movies that you're watching, maybe you're just catching up on your favorite TV shows, yeah. or even binge if you're watching. just yeah, if you're binge you know? watching Netflix, yeah. you could just be watching the news. You could. Everything wants and deserves to sound better. It, it and does. if you're miss if you are listening on your TV speakers, I promise you you are missing out yeah. on, on a it's lot. It's not the same experience. And well, we've got great technical crews. You know, we're limited to whatever speaker you've got on your television at home, mm -hmm. and we're also reproducing the sound through our microphones. So right. it's it's not the same. Well, we do our our utmost best. It's not the same experience that you'll get when you get this at home and try it for yourself. You're right. It, it, I can't say enough that hearing it truly is believing it. And we design it so that the moment that you turn it on, it's going to sound great. There's yeah, not calibration or adjustments that you have to make. It's one wire from the back of your TV to the input of the solo system, and you are able to begin enjoying everything you're watching. It's not like it just plugs into your, right. you know, Blu-ray player or just to your cable box. Leave everything connected the way it already is and just add one device and everything yeah. comes out in Bose Sound. Well, and certainly I'm not going to try to spend your money for you, but I will tell you this. And, you know, I, I worked in radio before I, I came to television or came to HSN. And if you are investing in that television, if you're investing in that 4K, 55 inch, 65 inch, whatever it might be, you're really doing yourself a disservice.